Obsessive compulsive disorder starts with a thought that suddenly pops into a sufferer's head. Unreasonably, this thought overwhelms the person with terror and repeats itself again and again and again. Confused, flooded with adrenaline, doubting their own sanity, and terrified of their crazy thoughts, OCD sufferers commonly develop humiliating rituals that they feel compelled to perform again and again and again until their panic subsides. A boxer's dream is to win a, a Golden Gloves. I am a true testimony of what boxing can do as far as building character and this art of hitting without getting hit. It's more closer to what a dancer has to do to choreograph his moves. There's no one to throw the ball to, there's no one to call a timeout to. It's one on one. It's a case of I'm going to outthink you and outsmart you. Those that don't hear the music think the dancers are mad. Golden Gloves Boxing, next on Chicago Stories. The Art Institute of Chicago is more than a museum. It's a vital and evolving tabernacle of time travel, overflowing with stories and secrets in every single work of art. It's a continually changing discovery zone, enjoyed by millions of people a year, and a uniquely American, uniquely Midwestern cultural institution. Japanese is one of their most favorite classes. Uh, they enjoy it because they are learning something that their peers at home have no idea of what's going on. So it makes them feel kind of special, I think. The uniform situation helps tremendously. We don't allow earrings. We don't allow designer uh, haircuts. We're back to basics. They're here to get an education. Everyone complains about why doesn't someone do something about this and their solution is build some more prisons. That's not our solution. Jonathan Harker really fell a prey to um, his own ignorance. Had Jonathan Harker be, been uh, familiar with the folklore of Europe, of Transylvania, he would probably fared differently. He would probably been able to ward off the vampire. As Harker grows ever conscious of his predicament, he realizes that he has become a prisoner in Count Dracula's castle. He fears he may die there, when suddenly he is approached by Dracula's minions. There was a deliberate voluptuousness which was both thrilling and repulsive. And as she arched her neck, she actually licked her lips like an animal till I could see in the moonlight the moisture shining on the scarlet lips and on the red tongue as it lapped the white, sharp teeth. He says, but wait a minute, I'm going out with one girl sleeping with one. Are you using a condom one? Louis Sullivan was a student of Emerson, Whitman, the Transcendentalists. And that means basically that he really was immersed in nature and the relationship of the city to nature and the relationship of architectural structures to nature. He was more than an architect. Uh, uh, he was a philosopher, perhaps even a mystic. And with Sullivan, the instead of a seed being nurtured in the ground, the idea of the building is nurtured in the architect's mind. And so when he designed the building uh, in collaboration with Dankmar Adler, it grew out of the 19th century uh, attitude toward nature and the uh, basically the organic form. Following military protocol, Gerald refused to say anything but his name, rank, and serial number. The response from the North Vietnamese administrator was that they would have no further use for him. And they jerked me up and took me out in this little courtyard and wrapped my arms, the broken one as well, around a tree and tied them behind the tree and marched out this five 
young guys with various rifles and parts of uniforms and so on that looked like a firing squad and sure enough that's what I was supposed to believe and he went through the ready aim fire thing and of course uh, it was a bluff although one of the kids didn't get the word and his M1 rifle went off and the slug buried itself in the tree next to my ear. In a world of chronic poverty, unemployment, despair and crime, there aren't a lot of kids who are convinced that when they grow up they're going to be somebody special. There aren't a lot of kids who are assured that one must earn the right to dream. And there aren't a lot of kids who are being shown a way to make a difference. But in this particular violence-plagued community on Chicago's west side, there are at least 650 first through 12th graders who are told those things about themselves every day. As principal, Paul Adams is doing a lot more than managing a school, driving the bus, disciplining students, or any of his other innumerable jobs. By providing exactly this kind of school, he's giving at-risk children a chance to survive. Joel Carson, a WMX programmer, has been summoned to this creepy old mansion for the reading of his deceased uncle's will. In the next few minutes, Joel and you will learn about the WMX Select Benefit Options for life insurance, accidental death and dismemberment, and disability. You have been named the sole beneficiary of your uncle's permanent life insurance policy. But, but Uncle Chester was retired. Permanent life insurance accumulates cash value that can be continued after leaving the company. Who is that?